This is not a regular screencast, but a kind of video reply to one of the questions we received as, uh, as comments to our screencasts. By the way, if you are willing to understand how one or another product of Abi uh, works, uh, don't be afraid to do like this user here did and ask uh, your questions in, in comments. Uh, comments to all of our screencasts are open and anyone may ask them. If your question is going to be really interesting, for sure uh, we will pre prepare a kind of video showing how, how you can do one or another thi thing using Abi. Abi product. All right. So the, the question here is uh, how to verify scanned uh, documents, and what I decided to do, I I decided to record a video showing uh, all basic steps uh, which involves conversion of uh, a paper document into a searchable PDF or or Microsoft Word uh, file, and uh, this is what I'm going to show right now. I placed one page with text uh, on uh, on a glass of my scanner, and this is how Fine Reader looks right uh, right after its launch. All right, uh, the very first step we should make is uh, to scan to scan our page, and I'm doing it using this uh, scan button. It opens. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, it, it creates a new document automatically, new fine reader document, and then it uh, checks uh, what uh, scanners are connected, currently connected to my computer. It takes some time, but then it opens an interface which is used to communicate uh, directly with, uh, with available scanners. Here is the interface. Uh, uh, so, what we can do before setting up any settings here, we, we may uh, generate preview. And here we can adjust the uh, area which we would like to scan. So in my case here is needed text like that and also 300 dp, DP dpi is the optimal resolution for scanning grayscale mode also convenient and actually I'm not going to change anything else here I just press scan button to, to scan this page in a good quality convenient for further recognition. This is a scan of, uh, of uh, my page uh, and actually I crumpled it uh, especially so that we have some mistakes uh, to be verified but first uh, right after you scanned your document uh, it is necessary to indicate blocks with uh, needed text so in, in my case I need the whole the whole page so I select the area and then um, it is necessary to indicate what what, what type uh, of uh, information do you actually have in, inside this area? So you have to s uh, select area type. In, in my case, it's just a text, but it could be table, picture, or some other types, but we need text. All right, so here uh, I indicate that the language is English, and uh, after that, I am launching recognition by pressing this read button. Recognition is done and as you may see here we have uh, recognized text and uh, with a blue mark uh, some, some, not, uh, some characters where the, the program is not confident in uh, recognition results are marked. And basically right now we are passing to 
uh, the longest part of, of the process, uh, which is uh, verification of, of the result. To launch verification, I press verification button here. And uh, in this window, uh, Abifine Reader shows me the initial uh, image here upstairs and uh, then it, it shows recognition result. So here is the image with the form designer. It was recognized as form designer and uh, it also marks with the red color in confident words. So the, the problem here is that the form designer is a product name, but uh, Fine Reader didn't have uh, such uh, such uh, word in its dictionary, so it was marked as a suspicious word. It offers to place uh, space in between. Uh, if we would like to do it, we simply double click uh, on, on the word, but uh, uh, we can also manually change uh, the text in this window here, for instance. Uh, here we should have it is possible, so I simply type it space is possible to configure and then and then press confirm button and uh, if uh, letter was recognized correctly as in this case uh, T um, I press ignore button and we are passing to the next uh, error here we had some garbage which was recognized as dot so I simply remove it using backspace and press confirm and so on. If it is necessary to change some text or correct some errors after verification, it can be done in this text window. So basically in order to do it, all you have to do is just place cursor or select paragraph which you would like to modify and make your corrections. For instance, let's add something here. So basically here you work like with with text any any text editor you can type whatever you want you can modify errors if you find something and uh, make all needed changes all right so when when you finish uh, your verification and uh, corrections in this text window uh, the final step is uh, to export uh, your document, your recognized document, to a needed format. And uh, by the way, you can have uh, uh, several export destinations. For example, let's let's try to export our recognized page into a searchable PDF so that we can load it later on let's say uh, into our iPad and read it there so I select here save as PDF document and uh, I uh, save it on my desktop let's call it page the tick open document after saving or export here is our page it's searchable PDF uh, basically what we have here is uh, our initial image but we also have transparent layer with uh, our verified text that means that uh, you can 
run search inside this document, for example, like that. Here it is, our Flexi Capture Word. Or you can copy and paste some text to another application, for example, into Notepad. All right, so it was a PDF format, searchable PDF format, but uh, probably you don't need a PDF, but you would like to create a new document based on this recognized text. So you can send it to Microsoft Word again. Uh, all I need to do just to indicate the destination here, I press save button. Here is our text and uh, it's in Microsoft Word and we can format it or edit uh, as we want it or need it. So I hope that uh, I replied uh, to, to the question how possible to verify and correct errors after recognition using verification stage or this text window. Uh, in any case, if, if you have any further questions, uh, just don't be afraid to ask them uh, in comments to this uh, YouTube video. Thank you very much for your attention. Another idea came into my mind when I almost finished this uh, video reply. What if you don't care about the initial image, but you need only a PDF with, with this recognized text? It can be done with IB uh, Fine Reader. All you have to do, you select here, save as PDF document, but before saving you go to the options, and here you select uh, a different uh, saving mode. It, it should be text and pictures only, you know, without uh, a page image on, 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 on the background. And uh, then you save your PDF. And uh, here it is. As you may see now, we have text only without the initial image.